coming up on Mobile Learning in the Classroom presentation apps. Hi, I'm Guy Trainin. And I'm Zoe Falls. And this is Mobile Learning in the Classroom. And today, considering the new school year, we're talking about presentation apps. So Prezi is much more like PowerPoint and mm -hmm. Google Slides in the sense that you are just going to be conveying the information. One of the nice things about Prezi is it does add some movement as you're going through your presentation. So I'm going to show a presentation I made when I was teaching and it was based on a reading that we had and this was my way of guiding their discussion and I was doing this to show them different ways of presenting and no I just want to present so this one as we go through you can start with the arrows and it just mm -hmm. starts with the first one so again I added an image just to enhance what they're mm -hmm. looking at these are quotes that the students put on their discussion board responses and I use this to prompt their in-class discussion so again, this is not content delivery. This is a way of helping me guide their discussion and you know, show them some cool technology mm -hmm. along the way. And again, as you see, there's that movement, sort mm -hmm. of like you would see in a slide transition, but this is maybe a little smoother. Um, students really like this because you can collaborate mm -hmm. easier than you could in earlier versions of um, PowerPoint. Yeah. Um, so you can have, if you have a group presentation, everyone can be in here working at the same time, they mm -hmm. can all see it, you don't have to worry about read-only copies. Um, and, you know, again, it kind of moves, so you can chunk things, so you can show that this larger thing and then yeah. smaller points within so, it. So the organization really helps convey the message. Correct. And that's part of, I think, teaching with and teaching about Prezi is you have to make sure that everybody's on the same page. We're not doing it just to be cool. We're doing this because you can start conveying a message exactly. using this inside one thing inside the other, one thing, one thing next to the other, moving really across. So I think that's uh, really important. The other thing is that it's stored online. So mm -hmm. again, we're talking about cloud storage and the ability for people to consume it independently if they just have a link or exactly. uh, if they're actually shared as, as uh, creators, they can uh, do that collaboration. And again, as a teacher, I like when my students do Prezi's because mm -hmm. I can see how they are processing the information based on how they lay out their yep. information in ways that isn't always as clear in something like Google Slides or PowerPoint. Yeah, it's less linear. It allows you, at least, allows you the opportunity to be less linear. Yes. And, you know, again, so some of this was me showing them mm -hmm. what the, again, what the tool can do. Um, but again, it moves you through it. And I, you know, that movement is really a good way to keep them engaged. Yeah. Because it's something different, something yeah. moves. So they might catch it out of the corner of the eye. And it helps focus. Exactly. And then again, it gives you that, that overview. Mm -hmm. at the end and you can choose you know your template just like you can in anything else um, I chose the circuit template because we were talking about technology so it seemed appropriate appropriate and to make sense now unlike Pear Deck and um, Nearpod you can't automatically pull in something from mm -hmm. somewhere else these you do have to create from scratch so if you are on a time crunch this might not be Although there is a way to bring in PowerPoint. There is. Yes, but oh. then it looks like PowerPoint, which kind of defeats uh, the purpose. OK, well, I didn't know that. Um, so. so when you're doing Pear Deck, you can bring in the PowerPoint, and you're still presenting to everybody, and it's somewhat in a PowerPoint format. When you bring it into, uh, into Prezi, it just looks like a PowerPoint, which is a really sad thing. Uh, so can you do it? Yes. Should the question at that point is, why would you? Uh, because you need to reorganize it, you need, you need to do all of these things. And at that point, uh, because uh, in my mind at least, a PowerPoint was created with a PowerPoint set, uh, mindset. We're doing this, then we're doing this, then we're doing this. The, the beauty of Prezi and, and image that I'm uh, going to briefly talk about is that they're not necessarily linear. So you can navigate through them in different ways. And, and if you designed it to be consumed kind of one step at a time, it is. 
So it's really hard to. So the benefits of translating, I'm not sure are there. I tried it a few times. It works, but I wasn't sure why I did it mm. at, at the end of the day because it didn't enhance the presentation much. I mean, it had cool transitions, but I can do that inside PowerPoint. So, uh, so that's my take on that, on that translation. Can you do it? Yes. Do you want to do it? Not necessarily, but it's up to you. Um, I, I'm going to briefly talk about Emaze. We talked about Emaze uh, previously, and um, I'll pull this up right now on the screen. It takes the ideas behind Prezi in some ways and takes them further. So what they've created is multiple templates that look very, very different than what we're used to that are very, very cool. This is the gallery template, which is probably my favorite one because it actually walks you through a gallery and you can have text on the side and then you can have pictures and you can have just one or you can have multiples. And uh, it's a great way to share information. The, uh, the movement through gives you that 3D feel, a little bit like uh, Prezi does, but in a different way. Mm -hmm. You can design it as much as you want or as little as you want. Um, it's a great way, again, to freshen things up, to do something a little bit different, to share with students. It's easy to share online. Again, it's stored online and not necessarily on your device. Um, let me show another format. And I this think is this would be a function. great thing to show to parents as yeah. sort of a summary of the end of the unit. These are the projects that are, you, you know, that your kids were creating, and you could send out the link to them in an email, and they could just mm -hmm. watch it at home and have sort of that feel of being in an in-person display. Yeah. Let me try this one, view, I went into the edit. Editing is very, uh, very quick, it doesn't take much. So this is a standard, more of a standard presentation format that we're all used to. It just brings up uh, one, one slide at a time. Uh, so they have that as well. Uh, it's available, it's not what I would do with this. So if you are interested in, you're confident with what you're doing, but you want something else that is a little bit mm -hmm. more fun and helps convey the message in different ways, Maze is, is a great way to go. So today on Mobile Learning in the Classroom, we talked about different presentations uh, and the way to freshen up the way what you're doing, especially if you have, as we talked about with Pear Deck, and a, uh, really, what do you do if everybody's got a device? How do you uh, provide that uh, information to students? And we'll see you next time on Mobile Learning in the Classroom.